In this video, I'm going to review Django 3 by example, a book by Antonio Mele and published by Pact. Let's get into it. Okay, a quick summary of this book is it is more than just a here's how you do a poll or a blog tutorial. It goes on to cover topics like Django REST framework, how to write template tags, WebSockets through Django channels, payment gateways, and more. And they do it in 543 pages. Those pages are written in, at least with the PDF and print version. As you can see, there is a lot of contrast between the letters and the paper, which is important. Antonio's writing style is very approachable. It is clear and obvious that he enjoys what he's doing. There are four projects in this book. So if you're expecting to go through this and build one giant application that contains all of the topics that I covered, that's not really what's going to happen. But it shouldn't be too hard to mix the pieces in here together and build projects that do what you want them to do. And there are places where it gets verbose, and I think that's not necessarily Antonio's fault, but rather an urging on the part of the publisher to pad chapters. This is really common, so I'm going to put this one on packed and not Antonio. There are no section numbers. So if you look here, translating, um, it has a translating section, and there's a code example in there as well. There are no section numbers, there's no code numbers, which means if you're trying to refer to a section, it's hard to say, hey, I'm stuck on chapter nine, section four, subsection three. And this can make it harder for people to work together in teams with the book or even talk to the author about the book. The book does not include additional resources, either at the end of the book or within chapter. And by that, I mean, if I go to the summary of a chapter, it is a section of a chapter, but above it, there is no section that says additional resources or simply resources. And what that means is that if you're looking for the documentation Cypher Django framework or channels, you're having to go through blocks and paragraphs of text. This is something that we incorporated with Two Scoops of Django and people really like. The other thing is, is that, and this is for you, Pact, you can sell additional product this way. For example, if you had a chapter on machine learning in Django 4, by example, when that comes out in a few years, you could then link from there to, you know, a category on the Pact site saying, hey, here's all of our machine learning stuff. So if I'm going to make a recommendation to the author and publisher is add that to the end of every chapter and also to the end of the book. It is a way to increase page count as well as help the reader and generate additional sales. So everybody wins when you do this. This book operates in a purely packed world. I understand this. Pact has to support its employees and their families. They only want to sell packed products. But if you are looking for other recommendations in the Django ecosystem, you're not going to find it in this book. In general, I really think this is a good book for beginners. It takes a very different tact than our own Django Crash Course, where we use repetition and practice. This is more like, here's how you do this, here's how you do that. And it just goes through tons and tons of examples. If you're an experienced developer, you're going to look at this and say, hey, I know where the documentation for all these pieces are. Why am I using this book? But that means that you're an experienced developer. You know where to look. If you don't know where to look, this book is a great guide to so many parts of Django. I give this book a thumbs up. It is definitely worth the money and i can understand why it's getting quite a few positive reviews on amazon if you want to buy this book i link to it below in my description going to both amazon as well as pact please buy it from those sources that way i can guarantee you the money from those sales are going to antonio or to Pact employees otherwise it's probably going to some pirate seller 
and Antonio isn't going to be rewarded for all of the hard work he did. Antonio, from one author to another, you did a great job. You have every right to be proud of this work. Again, thumbs up. Thank you, everyone. I'm out.